morning guys it is Saturday January 5th and this reading it's gonna be your cards of the day weekend edition so this is gonna be for the fifth and the sixth now it could actually be called the Newman and Capricorn reading because this energy is uh, well it reverberates out the new moon energy starts coming in three days prior and it stays till at least three days after so it's approximately a week or, or a little bit over a week and then at the same time we've got a partial solar eclipse okay so with the solar eclipse that energy lasts six months okay and it's just it, it's just a few minutes I can't remember if it happens a few minutes before a few minutes after the new moon but this is an incredibly potent day okay and in addition to that we have a grand psychic water trine okay and I think um, I don't think I even wrote it down and that's gonna make an appearance for a little bit also the grand psychic water trine has the north node in cancer Venus in Scorpio and Chiron in Pisces it is a psychic water trine because it involves Pisces I mean Pisces excuse me Chiron <laughs> and those are adding to the numbers of the day which are 5 and 18 so 5 is about surprises gifts confidence it's also about change okay and we also have a an 18 which is the number of healing or healing through example or setting an example through healing okay so some people could surprise you and suddenly heal some issues that they've had <laughs> or you may suddenly see something that's healing and it may surprise you okay or it could be a sudden change of force healing transformation um, because we do have the universal month is it's 13 okay so we have one and 13 for the month which is new beginnings and transformations and then the whole year the universal year is 12 okay so 12 is about it's the hangman it's about having to surrender and changing your perspective so that's the entire year and this is what we've been being groomed to do in 2018 okay so now we're in 2019 it's time to show our stuff and what we got and also too, come the 6th tomorrow Uranus will be going direct okay up until now it's been retrograde in Aries and it's gonna go direct in Aries at 28 degrees so there's um, Things are going to start happening externally rather than internally. This is going to be very, very interesting. Okay. <laughs> I've been shuffling these cards over and over. Um, it's, it's almost like a habit. So the additional, oh, excuse me, the Grand Psychic Water Trine has degrees of 27, 28, and 28. So that's two tens and a nine. So basically we have five, two nines, and two tens three four and one so it's about communication manifesting new beliefs surprise healings completions to a cycle um, purging and new beginnings we like new beginnings okay and with the transit there we're holding space for the new oh first one a lot of you guys are feeling depressed some um, we've been getting the tower tower <laughs> we've been getting the to uh, tower quite a bit lately okay and the tower means several things it's when somebody is shaken to their core the walls are crumbling around them because the foundation is faulty this could be anything from the death of someone you love uh, a pet a person um, place a thing an idea all the way to losing something uh, a possession a favorite prized possession um, like a, a divorce um, yeah, this could be along with natural disasters too, okay, and what was I going to say? Oh, but it's also, it, it's, the tower is like Uranus energy, okay, so that's also awakenings and breakthroughs and enlightenment, okay, so some of you, uh, there's a whole host, a whole range of meanings for the tower cards, so a lot of you guys have experienced the tower cards, um, differently I did pull one yesterday and to me it was a breakthrough it was an enlightenment so 
some of you guys who that tower was for something uh, like a breakup or death in the family or losing your home, divorce, something to that effect. You guys are now stuck in this energy. It's very depressing. But it is completion of a cycle, okay? If you're at the Ten of Swords, means that you've you're going you've gone through the Nine of Swords already, so you've purged some kind of sad, depressing energy, and the worst is now over. Mm. Some of you guys. Oh, hold on. Let me finish this before I pick that card up and show it. But some of you guys are still lacking clarity, okay? Some of you guys are depressed because your current reality doesn't match up to your beliefs or how you feel. Um, some people are still fooling themselves. The 10 is actually, it's the card of ruin. This is like feeling like your life is over, okay? They're not being, they're not very clear. Some people are deep in the confusion. They don't understand why they're feeling this energy. And a lot of it has to do with these, this stellium, these six planets in Capricorn. This is, uh, I like to call it seriously serious energy, okay? So a lot of people are seeing the cold, dark side of life okay and they're they're delusional you know this is i want to die already and it's because things are not clear they're just so deep in this energy they can't find their way out of it and i'm seeing this everywhere around me i mean capricorn can mean a lot of things and i'm seeing all the different meanings, um, the way it affects a lot of the people, a lot of the people around me. Yeah. Okay. The lovers is about attraction, abundance. This is being able to vibrate on a higher level and attracting things to you. It's also victim mentality, okay? So some of you guys are, poor me, the world is ending, um, the world sucks, everything sucks, um, my life sucks, everything's just so horrible. It's victim mentality. Rather than recognizing that they created it, they still don't recognize that they've created it, okay? Um, this could also be cheating. Okay, for some of you guys, somebody may have cheated on you and that tower moment was you finding out and you broke up and it's, you feel like it's the end of the world. You feel like your life is over, but you know, you're fooling yourself. Sometimes the tower comes in to put you on the correct course. If in fact this person cheated on you, then you needed to leave, okay, because that behavior is unacceptable unacceptable okay and you need to get out of there because you deserve better and if you don't you're not valuing yourself okay we have been working for the longest time to accept our true value and accept our reality okay so the reality of the situation is that this person is toxic and you needed to get them out of your life so staying in this energy is not going to help realize that you deserve better Okay, so yeah, definitely um, you may have found out that this is the moon card. And it's usually, it's about, it's about healing, but it's also about secrets that have come out. So yeah, somebody might have found out that they were cheated on. Okay, and they're in this doomy, gloomy mood. They may have a lot of anxieties, but I just have to tell you, you know, like I was trying to explain with the tower that... You created this, okay? If things blew up and this person cheated on you and you left, it was for the highest good, okay? You got the three of wands. Somehow you manifested this reality. As horrible as it seems, it was to get rid of this toxic energy and put you on the right path. See, here's somebody being ghosted, left out in the cold, okay? This is also anxiety, okay? So... Either they cut you out or you had to cut them out in order to protect yourself, 
Okay, this is, this is something that you had hoped and wished for, to get out of an unhappy situation. You may have not said, I want to break up with this person, or I want them to get another person so I can get away from them. You may have simply said, I am not happy in this relationship, and I wish I could do something about it, or I wish something... You're, you were looking up, hoping that somebody would save you, okay? And then the tower came in. And then this happened. Okay. They lied to you. They were very distant to you. And in fact, they're probably not talking to you. They're, they were most likely like, I cheated. I have someone else. Bye. Or they're, you found out. You busted them. You busted. Or maybe this intent was to, you knew for the longest time that they'd been cheating on you, okay? Because the Seven of Cups deceiving, um, this is delusion, illusion. It's kind of like, it's somebody fooling themselves or somebody fooling you. So, in effect, you were fooling yourself, thinking that this relationship was good for you. And they were fooling you with other lovers, okay? But somehow you busted them. And this is now over, okay? Know that it is for the highest good and that you created that reality and now you are dissipating it in favor for the new, in favor for the better, okay? Now that this toxic relationship is done, now you can move forward into the relationship that was truly meant for you, into real love, okay? Be careful not to stay in that depression energy. You've got to accept that this is for the best, okay? You weren't happy. Why are you Why are you upset? You weren't happy to begin with. I mean, really, are you really that upset now? I hope not. I hope you're getting to the point where you're changing your perspective and looking at things in, in a different way. I'm trying to tell you to look at it in a different way. Everything happens for a reason. Okay, everything, there are no exceptions, there are no accidents, there is no free will. Everything has been divinely scripted for us to be to learn lessons. Okay. Everything. I used to believe at one time that there was free will, like you know, uh, like in this example, this person who chose to cheat or who chose to go with someone else, okay? That was divinely scripted too, okay? Because it was for you to learn a lesson and now this person's going to go on and I don't know if they're toxic or if you're the one that's toxic, but somebody had to learn what they didn't want in love, okay? Venus and Scorpio is not only about having clarity in love, it's also about having clarity of what you don't want in love. And Venus will be moving into Sagittarius here. I can't remember when. It might have moved into that, but the decision to cheat might have been made back when Venus was in Scorpio or when, even when it was in retrograde because there was a lot of um, risk of cheating. Uh, hold on. Okay. Like I was saying, this is your reality. This is what you unconsciously created, okay? That's been obliterated. Why? Your slate needs to be wiped clean so you can begin to create the life that you actually want instead of accepting what you unconsciously created, okay? You need to accept the fact that you placed yourself there, okay? Nobody did this to you. You did this to yourself, and if you stayed, you doubly did this to yourself. I'm sorry to be the bitchy auntie to scold you, but these are the cold hard facts, okay? This is a fact. If you are unhappy where you were at when shit hit the fan, this was for your greatest good, and it's because you kept putting out that energy that you were unhappy, okay? Now, a lot of times, if you stay in this energy, this is one what you're going to get back, but somebody here wished that they could be happy in their relationship when they were in a relationship with a toxic person. Okay, so some of you guys might be riding high on anxieties right now. Um, 
there's definitely some level of disconnection and fear. Fear of what next? The hermit. Okay, so because of this situation, the hermit is also number nine. The hermit is about mastering the self. You need to go deep within. Um, double this. Somebody feels like totally isolating themselves. This is isolation. Okay, somebody is not wanting to deal with a lot of people right now. Okay, because they have to deal and heal. The hermit is about isolating yourself or squaring yourself away so you can mull over the puzzle pieces of everything that's been going on in your head. You're, you're turning over the Rubik's Cube, getting a good sense of what belongs where. Okay, it is about mastering the self and getting a grip. It's also a nine. Okay, so this is about healing and unconditionally loving yourself by saying no to this person who did this, who fooled you and fooled around. Just say no, okay? The hermit is also Virgo energy, so this is a type of analysis paralysis where you're stuck in your head, clearly because we have the card of ruin. So we were going to go with, let me move this because somebody, okay, so we have the secret that came out and somebody goes to do, somebody was left out in the cold, okay, the six of swords fell out on this, so this was your karmic lesson, okay. This was something that you had to learn. But if you go back to them, if you forgive them for, for act, uh, that horrible, intolerable, unacceptable behavior, you will be doomed to repeat this lesson, Groundhog Day. You will have to do it all over again. However, if you hold your head up high and think that you truly weren't happy, okay, then you can move ahead to go find your happiness. This can represent travel, so some of you guys may feel like just running away and, and just, uh, we're here in Hawaii, so you might be feeling like moving to the mainland or moving to another state or overseas, and it can represent travel, but at this point, this is your lesson, okay, to get away from this person, to not tolerate deceit and lies, treachery and deception, King of Cups. Wow. Okay. So this looks like King of Cups is Scorpio energy. So there may be a Scorpio that's involved here. Scorpio, Cancer, Virgo. Scorpio energy, Cancer energy, Virgo energy. King of Cups is about a considerable, wise advisor. This is consideration. This is somebody who is very emotional. Their emotions are intense. However, they have that legendary scorpionic control, okay? And they control their emotions. They do not wear their heart on their sleeve. They, you can sense that there's energy moving under the surface, but for the most part, the King of Cups is wise, considerate advisor. Whoever cheated on you, they're an alcoholic or they have issues with addiction or maybe it's you that has the issue with the addiction and it's not a secret anymore. Um, it's coming up. You're having dreams that are telling you something. They're trying to tell you something in your dreams pay attention to your dreams okay and it could be dreams about the way that you lie to yourself that you fool yourself and you fool others everything's okay i'll just have another drink okay i'll just have another i'll just take another hit i'll just buy something else i'll just have more sex with someone else whatever it is your karma 
your obsession is you're fooling yourself if you think you can mask it okay this is something that needs to be exposed it's going to be exposed you have no choice you have no choice okay so you need to give some serious thought and master into mastering your addictions and your obsessions okay and once again you have wished for this you've created this you created the situation in which for you to rise from okay so this may seem horrible it may seem like the end of the world but this is for you to rise above a lot of people are going through the dark night of the soul right now um, I know that we've said that it was coming but there is a huge amount of people that are just spinning okay the analysis paralysis they don't know what the fuck's going on. Speaking of, speaking of, I'll be doing the New Moon and Capricorn report today and another special installment of what the fuck is going on, what the fuck energies, <laughs> where I explain some of the major transits and the energy that's going on right now. Oh, okay. Well, you've got the hangman, but the hangman is reversed, okay? So what that means is it doesn't look like you've surrendered yet. Um... You need to surrender and change your perspective. So somebody here is still stuck in that energy. You are still stuck in that depression energy. You are still stuck with that those obsessive thought patterns, those compulsive behaviors, those addictions. Okay? But you're you're thinking about it a lot, okay? They're letting themselves be known. Hey. Hey, I'm here. Have another beer. Take another hit, buy another bag, go do some more shopping, go have some more sex, go, go fuck yourself more, is basically what is going on. Um, you need to get out of this energy. You cannot stay here, okay, because you're not going to be able to manifest unless you surrender and change your perspective. This is a number 12. This is what this whole year is about. If you do not move forward from here, you will be stuck in the same Groundhog Day pattern. Force to endure the same lesson over again okay oh so you meet someone else okay well you're gonna do the same exact thing once again fooling yourself okay because you're gonna accept the same treatment or you're going to behave the same way okay this requires a shift of perspective okay so get to work and start thinking about what your options are and what you can do about this obsession or this addiction and at the same time, this is intelligence. You know better. You know how the game works. Okay, so you need to get to work. A lot of us here, the divine males, are uh, just coming into recognizing that the law of attraction is working. I mean, they're barely recognizing. They know something's going on. And, you know, uh, like the other day, somebody said, I wish I, uh, I need work. And I says, okay, well, say it. I need work. No, 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 no. You have to say, I wish I had some work. So they said, I wish I had some work. Okay. And then the very next day, they called me excited that they got some work. Okay. Use your brains. Okay. You need to think very, very deeply. There is definitely something that you have to master. Okay. You have to get out of this emotional state. Detach yourself from it. Because that's definitely something that has to be cut out of your life. You have to use all your willpower to walk away from this and begin to create something new. But that's not going to happen until you change how you're looking at things. Hmm. Yeah. See, it's the end of the world, okay, because you don't value yourself. You shouldn't, you cannot grieve this person who treated you like crap, okay? They didn't truly love you. They didn't truly value you for who you were. And if when you were with them, because you decided to stay with them, you didn't value yourself, okay? And for a lot of you guys, you're in this addiction because a lot of you guys are insecure. You don't value yourself. 
okay? You're very, very insecure. It causes a lot of anxieties. But the thing is, you drink or you take drugs or whatever your obsession or addiction is, you do these things because you're insecure and you think it's going to calm the anxieties when really all it does is temporarily stops it. And whatever you're using as a crutch actually creates more anxiety. So this is a perpetual pattern that you need to get rid of, okay, that you need to get out of. But I got good news for you. Every season is coming up. That is the season of change, okay? Capricorn season is about creating goals and the strategy to get you there, okay? And then every season comes and it's time to move forward and make that change, I always hear Michael Jackson in my ear every time I have to say that, make that change. <laughs> but keep in mind, too, that a lot of you guys will be moving forward um, in Capricorn season because we do have Mars and we do have Uranus. Okay, This could be a sudden change, like suddenly saying, no, fuck alcohol, fuck drugs, fuck spending too much money, fuck everything that has ever kept me down. I'm going to stop every single toxic pattern, toxic behavior that I have because... It's not me, okay? A lot of you guys are going to be stepping into your authentic self. Here, somebody is fighting really, really hard, but they're beginning the process of recognizing who they are and where they stand in this world, okay? And with the Newman and Capricorn, actually, one of the biggest questions were, are you famous for achieving or do you shame us with deceiving, okay? Big question. Who are you? Who are you? What do you stand for? What do you want to do? <laughs> what do you want to do with your life? <laughs> and don't tell me I want to rock because I'm going to slap you. <laughs> okay, well, I guess technically if you want to rock, then, you know, you can rock. But don't be smoking rock. That's some of the, the, the addiction that, that you need to get rid of, bro. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, yeah. Oh, bam, bam, bam. All right. The last cards I'm going to pull. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. If you can master yourself, okay, and be detached, you get the Wheel of Fortune. This is leveling up, okay? You can do it. You've got new beginnings. You've got the initiation of a new beginning. So some of you guys are beginning to see that the law of attraction ask and you shall receive okay so some of you guys have begun to start asking for what you want you put your uh, intentions out there three of wands is about waiting for your ship to come in okay so it's begun the cycle of exercising the law of attraction has begun it's going to take you to the next level because the wheel of fortune is about one door closing and another one opening this door with this toxic person is supposed to close. Okay, so leave it be. Don't look back. Look forward and keep moving forward. Okay, we're creating a new life. Mm, yeah. Okay, so at first you weren't sure. You were so attached. You're like, oh my God, but I love him so much. I can't believe he cheated on me. Or I can't believe she cheated on me. I loved her so much. I just wish that I had her back. Now, nah. you're screwing yourself. This is indecision, not knowing what way to decide. You're sitting on the fence. You are actually considering letting this toxic person back into your life. No. Nah. Done. I don't think so. This is the card of death. This is about transformation and power death and rebirth obsessions and karma okay so there's definitely somebody's can be obsessed about their oh gosh wow there's a lot of obsessive energy here okay these three together major major obsession okay somebody is having me i'm surprised uh we don't have more swords coming out somebody is really in their heads it, and in this time of Capricorn, everything's logical and rational, okay? There's no, there's no heart here. <laughs> the only heart we have is somebody who's capable of love but doesn't love themselves and ha uh, their shine has been dulled from some kind of addiction or obsession, okay? So somebody has a habitual pattern. Uh-oh. Somebody has a habitual pattern that they need to get rid of 
and it's because they don't value themselves, okay? They're not valuing themselves, and they just don't, they don't want to join the world anymore. They're actually wishing for this. They're wishing for death. They want to die, okay? I think I said that earlier with this card that they're, you know, they may have said, I want to die, or I'm praying to die. Wow. It's a very, very sad, serious energy. These two, these three fell out also. What is this? Oh my goodness. Okay. But someone here has a manifestation portal. Manifestation portal and initiation moving forward. There's going to be a chance to move forward. And it's because you asked. You asked for it. You may have asked to be happy. Okay. Then we have the... Seven of Wands. Okay, you may have, whenever you found out this person was cheating, you may have physically tried to keep them from leaving. And they left anyways. Um, please value yourself. If they want to leave, let them leave. Okay? It is not the end of the world. The worst part is over. It only gets better from here. The only thing that is negative is staying in this Staying in your mind, this obsessive analysis paralysis, you have to let them go, please. If you value yourself, let them go. Three of Pentacles is about work, okay? So this is additional work that needs to be done um, in terms of relationships. So maybe at some point you had given all your money or this person used you for your money also or maybe somebody used you for your money or maybe during this period when you found out that they were they cheated on you you had lent them some money or you were financially helping them in some way um normally i would say this is working together on a project like physically cleaning the house or working to oh maybe you guys even work together so it's really hard to cut the connection that's that could be why there's this obsession, um, analysis, paralysis. It's really hard to get out of that energy, but you must if you want to move forward. Okay, so we're going on 30 minutes. Um, gosh. Wow. Big reading this morning. Okay, so there was definitely a level of frustration. This person... The person, somebody here was really frustrated um, in terms of financials. So like I was saying, yeah, they may have borrowed money from you because <coughs> they were waiting for something to come to fruition and it the fruit hasn't come yet, okay? 